Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <coughs> Glory to Jesus. Your voice has refused to be silenced. You know, when I when I just hear this word, I started laughing. I said, what is this again? Like your voice have refused to stop echoing. Your voice echoing their head. Your voice is echoing, 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 echoing. You know, <clears throat> where they wanted you to be quiet. You are refused to be quiet. <laughs> ah, the devil is mad. Where, where they said, this person, don't pray again. Ah, you refuse. You say, I must pray. <laughs> ah, don't do your job. I must do my job. The devil is, is lying. You know. Your voice has become something that cannot be suppressed. The enemy have tried to suppress your voice, to make your voice, you know, to make it just go away. Let the voice just go away. We don't want to hear this voice anymore. You know that kind of a thing. We are tired of your voice, but despite all the things that they have done, your voice is still echoing. Your voice is still echoing. <laughs> I love a brother that will always say, Evangelista, now I am a very hot, I'm a fire, fire prayer now. You know, I'm like, yes, these are, my, these are the people that God wants. Fire the prayer. Let the community hear that somebody's praying. They are crazy. <laughs> the devil is crazy. <laughs> ah, God help us. <laughs> the devil is mad. He's a loser. Is a loser. It cannot come to destroy us to kill us. Mm -mm. When God has given us life, <laughs> when God has given us abundant life, hallelujah, abundant life, child of God, this is the reason why they finally turn against you because your voice have refused to listen. You know, sometimes when I when we pray, we are like, oh my me, oh my destiny reject this reject that i said make sure your name people are looking at me what kind of prayer is this i said yes reject it make sure your name there my destiny refuse to listen to the enemy the destiny must respond the destiny must respond because this word is so powerful words are powerful even if you use it wrongly they are powerful use it rightly they are powerful then we choose to use it rightly if a, if a destiny was destroyed through words of men, through words of men, so destiny can also be repaired through the words of men. Hallelujah. Through the words of men. If anything, maybe your destiny has been responding to disappointment, you can call out your destiny in the name of Yeshua. My destiny, stop responding to disappointment to Stand on the word and pray. When men pray, things happen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Jabez prayed and the Lord heard him. He prayed. The Lord heard him. Hannah prayed. My womb must carry a child. I'm going to pray. She prayed. The Lord heard him. Daniel prayed. You know, he prayed. The Lord heard him. So you can call out your life. Your life will respond. And be in line with the will of God. Don't allow anything to intimidate you. If you have been experiencing disappointment, bad luck, call out your destiny because there is a way, there is a place where they are summoning your name or your life, where they keep speaking it. Because true words, the enemy rules people's destiny. The incantation, the spell, the enchanters. They don't come to people's house and you see them doing the enchantment. They do it somewhere. And when they are doing the enchantment, it is affecting the person. It is true words. They speak to their gods, their evil altars. They speak and they speak and they speak. And the things start manifesting. 
This accident that happens every time, you need to understand that in the warfare field, sometimes you will realize that most accidents are caused by marine kingdom, marine spirit. Because these ones, they, they always stand, they want to stand at the junction. They are looking for who to drink their blood. Most of them. Most of them. I'm not saying all. Most. They stand in any different junction with baskets. You can call out your name and say, My hair reject to answer to evil call of death. These are the things we pray about. And you know, people are like, Ah, oh, what fair prayer? I don't understand. What is she talking about? <laughs> now that your voice has refused to be silenced, your voice has refused to be quiet, your voice has refused, you know, your voice is saying no. Now that you are not speaking to your life, your life is saying no to the demon. No, the owner, the God that owns the life is speaking to it. You, I cannot respond to demon. You see that so people, uh, uh, the spirit man of people, so many, so weak. You see in their dreams, sometimes people just have different kinds of things in their dream because the spirit man is weak. When you wake up, call out your spirit man. My spirit man rebuke and reject that which you just collected. Pray. Pray. The Lord will help us to pray. I know sometimes it's not easy because the life is very busy. Yeah. Life is very busy. Life is very busy. Uh, sometimes you, you even want to pray. You find out that you are not praying. You are not praying. You don't even know what is going on. You are just... Because life is busy. We are all humans. That is why I just started encouraging people. I don't judge people who don't have that time to lock themselves and pray. I just say, pray whatever you are. Pray in your mind. Pray whatever you are walking on the road. Just pray. You are cooking. Just pray. Just make sure you are praying. Just make sure. Don't feel bad because you don't have that time to lock yourself up and be praying and praying. If you have the time, it's very beautiful. Because having to fellowship with the, with God, with the Holy Spirit, is a very beautiful thing. Have a fellowship with Him. Just sit down. Just read the Word of God. Just listen to good music. Just surround yourself. You know, just begin to pray, speak in tongues, pray in the Holy Ghost, speak and pray and pray and pray and just pray and just feel the presence of God. It is a very beautiful thing. It helps us to hear God. It helps us to draw close to God. It helps us to encounter God. It helps us to know what we want, what God wants us want for us. But, but if you don't have that opportunity, also pray wherever you are. Because God understands He's not a man that judges the way humans judge. Your voice is echoing. So when people start turning against you, know this. That they have been trying to silence you for some time, but they were not able, or they have not been able. So that is why you see many things going on. Yes. Because they want to make sure you go silent. You just go away. But because your voice has refused to be silenced, now they have to turn against you because they can't keep hearing it. They can't imagine themselves hearing your voice all the days of their life. They can't imagine themselves hearing you professing what you are professing in the Lord all the days of their life. They can't. They can't. This is the reason why men turn against you. They can't, they can't continue to hear you speak about what you are speaking about all the days of your life. They rather just finally go away and say, no, I am done, I am tired. They are done and they are tired because now your voice is speaking. Your voice is the voice that cannot go quiet. I am praying for somebody. I pray for you that nothing will be able to silence you. Nothing will be able to silence you. I pray for you that no matter what is trying to silence your voice, the Lord will give you the boldness to to continue doing what you are doing. And they will surrender in the name of Jesus. Your voice will not be silenced. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah.
by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.